I made the first transfer to FC Basel. I was um, four months in the Swiss Army, and I have to say I'm really, I'm really pleased what I saw. When I was on the bench the first minutes, I looked around to the fans, it was so loud, and then I just tried to be a, as aggressive as possible. Sorry for the foul. Hi Portuguese fans, I'm really excited to be here. My name is Louis Lurvink. I come from Switzerland and yeah, I've been playing football for almost, no, for more than 15 years. I started when I was a little boy, when I was six years old at my local club. Then at 12 years old, I, I made the first transfer to FC Basel. I don't know if you know this club, it's a pretty big club in Switzerland. I played there until the first team. I also had an appearance in the first team there, but then unfortunately for me it didn't work out. So I had to make a step back to the second league in Switzerland, um, where I played for the last two and a half years. I, I played a lot of games. Um, I have a lot of experience now because I played over 60 games um, in pro football at just 22 years of age. So. Yeah, I think now is the right right time to to make the next step for me. I'm really happy to be here and yeah, hope to see you guys soon in the stadium. I was um, four months in the Swiss army. In Switzerland it works like that, that everybody, every male has to go to the army. Um, if you don't go, you have to pay. And yeah, so, but there are solutions for, for professional athletes that you don't have to go to the regular army, but you, they call it sports, sports army, where it works like that, that you can just, um, you have to stay there from Monday till, till Wednesday. You have to be in the army, but you don't do the regular shooting things. You do like, maybe in the morning you have some, some drills uh, with, the, with the army. You, you, you learn how to walk, you learn how to do some army things and in the afternoon you just train with your, with your phys physical coach and then you can always go back for the games um, at your club. So there was, um, I was one of five footballers that year who, who were able to go to that uh, sports army. Um, it was a really good experience. I met a, a lot of new people, um, for example, good tennis players, good athletes from Switzerland. And it's, uh, it's actually a really nice thing because, yeah, they push you a lot. You have top, top trainers, top, um, just uh, nice food. Everything is perfect there. So it's not even a step back. It's actually, you can develop yourself even more. So it was a, was a nice experience in the Swiss Army, yeah. Yeah, so I, I decided to join Pardubica because I, I know now that the Czech League is a really, really good league for, for defenders, especially for center backs. Um, it's a really physical league, high intensity, and yeah, it's, of course, it's a perfect next step for me as a physical player, as an aggressive player, center back. And when Portobitza called me, they made a little um, presentation about the club. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know much about the club because it's, it's a small club, um, but they, they presented me the club and um, I came here two days. I visited everything, the, the stadium, the infrastructure. So, and I have to say, I'm really, I'm really pleased what I saw. Um, yeah, nice coach who speaks German. So yeah, it just seemed to be the perfect next move for me. Yeah, first of all, I have to say this was the, the game that for me as well had the, the most people in the stadium, like 20,000 people was the most for me in my career. Um, to be honest, when I was on the bench the first minutes, I looked around to the fans, it was so loud. I just enjoyed the atmosphere. Um, and then when I, when I came in, I, I could watch the game. So the first half, I, I tried to focus on, on the defenders. What do the Slavia defenders do? Um, and then I just try to be a, as aggressive as possible because I know it's really physical. Then in the first couple, couple of minutes, there was the, the big striker. I don't know, I think he's two meters tall. 
and then when he, I try to push him a little, try to yeah mark my presence, and then when when he got subbed out, I didn't know that um, yeah this this was the striker, the new striker that came in was a Czech national player because yeah I didn't know and sorry for the foul. Um, the first contact I, I tried what what is possible, like how high, how hard can I go without the referee uh, is gonna call it a foul, and I saw. I can, I can do a lot, I can push, I can wrestle almost and the referee is not going to whistle so yeah I thought I have to be as aggressive as possible and the referee is not going to whistle anyway because for example in Switzerland they would, they would call it a foul like so fast and here you can really work with your body, yeah I like it. Okay so the, the black one I really like the black one um, because it matches good with my hair. <laughs> I saw the pictures from the game, it, I really liked it. So this one I have to give a 10. Um, and the other one as well, uh, the, the red one, it's nice. It's, yeah. And the white one as well, so I like them both. I, li I like all the three, but the black one is my favorite. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to, the, to, our fir to my first home game. Um, now we have national break. Uh, for me, it's good to prepare, to, to take the rhythm also, um, train good, um, have a little break. And then I'm really excited to see you guys. Uh, I hope everyone's going to come in the stadium, support us. We really need it. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to the game. Okay, Porto Bate, I'm waiting for you. Come on to the game. Thank you.